flagship wrestling for 10 years, providing excellence and innovation in virtual wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final first round match of the 2017 ACW Elite Tournament. We will complete the fourth and final quarterfinal match here tonight between two of the last of the remnants of the old school group. It'll be Ash Ketchum going one on one against the Prince of Tennis, Ryoma Edison, who will go on and meet Joe Agashi in the quarterfinals. We're about to find out. And listen to this place come unglued for the future Pokemon Master, the legendary Ash Ketchum. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2017 ACW Elite Tournament. I am Austin Johnson, your ACW commentator, as always. And we are here live in Dallas, Texas, at the American Airlines Center to find out our final, quarterfinal match in this eighth and final first round match of the tournament. As we thank you all for joining us here today, this Elite Tournament is both sponsored by GWM Global Wrestling Monopoly. We want to thank them for all their help for making this event the biggest that it could always be. As Ash Ketchum awaits for his opponent. And that familiar music can only mean one thing. The Prince of Tennis, the pillar of Sengaku, Ryoma Etchison. Coming out to his Japan attire that he has worn so many times for many of the big tennis tournaments in the past. But now he's in a different tournament. He's in one of the greatest tournaments going on in virtual wrestling today. He is a part of the elite tournament. But many have called him Mr. Round number one. People have called him Mr. Round one because he has never been able to get past round one of the tournament every time he has been a part of the elite tournament. As we take a look at the statue, we'll see what I mean here. First off, Ash Ketchum, this is his first appearance in the Elite Tournament. He is a former Impulse Tag Team Champion, and his special, as always, is the welcome to Pallet Town. And then you look at Ryoma Edgerson. This is his fourth appearance in the tournament, the most out of any other participant in this tournament this year. He has never made it past round one. He is a former Cruiserweight Champion, the first ever Cruiserweight Champion. His special is the game set match and drive B. The bell is rung and here we go. We will settle the final quarterfinal match to be settled between these two. Who will go on to meet the television champion, Joe Agashi, in the quarterfinals? And for those that are not aware, the quarterfinals will begin starting January 23rd, when the quarterfinals begin for the Elite Tournament. Some of the matches that we have scheduled for that Elite Tournament in the quarterfinal round will be Edward Elward going one-on-one -on -one against Wave. Soma Yukihara going one-on-one -on -one against Tatsumi. Cloud Strive going one-on-one -on -one against Sagat. And then Joe Agashi facing the winner of this match right here tonight between Ash Ketchum and Ryoma Edgerton as both men are going through some chain wrestling to get advantage. But it looks like Ryoma has won that contest with some strikes towards Ash Ketchum and a big knife edge chop. But Ash able to come back. A chop of his own. And another one. Irish went to the corner here. Ryoma sent to the corner on the opposite side here. Ash Ketchum now. No. Ryoma sent it to the corner. Close line did not connect. Ash Ketchum yanks him down with an arm bar. Fujiara arm bar takes down Ryoma. And Ryoma is desperately looking for the nearest ropes. Ryoma getting caught into a submission maneuver early in the match. And Ash able to let go. But look at that again. That Fujiara style takedown of an arm bar. Ryoma was looking for the ropes, but luckily for him, Ash Ketchum was able to let go, probably thinking he was losing his grip. And we're back live here. And this match is very important for both competitors here tonight as Ryoma Edgerton continues his strikes. Ash Ketchum dumps him outside to the apron. And Ash sends him right back in. For Ash Ketchum, he's coming off of a suffering, disappointing loss at Animania 4 when he went on one-on-one -on -one against Joe Agashi for the television title and did not complete the objective at hand. So he is looking here tonight 
to rectify that loss. Rioma Anderson is looking to make a comeback after being drafted to excel. And like I stated earlier in the statistics, he has never been able to make it past round one of the tournament that he has always been a part of here in ACW's Elite Tournament. Real Madison Irish Whip. Real Madison bounces off the ropes here. Nice two-handed bulldog. Sends down Ash. Quick cover. One. Two. No. No. Only a one count. Crowd already getting very invested into this matchup here. Because there's a lot on the line here. Not just for both of these competitors. But it will be a lot on the line as to who will face Joe Agashi. Who will go one-on-one -on -one against him. Will Real Madison and Joe Agashi, former Cruiserweight rivals. Here's the cover. One. Two. No, only a two. But will Joe Agashi and Real Madrid, two former Cruiserweight rivals, when they were both on an impulse, will they meet again in the quarterfinals? Or will Ash Ketchum get a second chance at redemption going up against Joe Agashi in an Animania 4 rematch? That will be remain to be seen as Ash Ketchum with the roll-up towards Ryoma. One, two, and no, Ryoma able to shoulder up just before three. Match continues, Ash Ketchum has it, Ryoma up here. Big strike there. Ryoma able to counter, clubs him from behind. Oh, and a swinging neck breaker from behind. A very unique way to hit that maneuver. And now Ryoma on the apron. I'm assuming he's gonna go for a uh, high risk taking maneuver. Oh, never mind. stay corrected, guillotine sends down Ash. And now Ryoma's plotting to see what he wants to do here. As Ash Ketchum slowly gets up here, Ryoma's on top of the turnbuckle, and Ryoma with a nice diving clothesline, more of a diving lariat, sending down Ash. Crowd not a fan of the Prince of Tennis here. Goes for a cover, referee getting down. One, two, three, no. Ash able to kick out before three once again. You gotta wonder how devastating would it be further. Oh my God. What a big kick to the temple there by Ryoma. As I was trying to say here, well, how defeating would it be for Ash Ketchum here tonight if he were to lose to Ryoma and not even make it past round one? How big would that be? How much would that further Ash Ketchum's decline ever since he came back last season with a brand new attitude, a brand new personality? How, how much would that really hurt someone like Ash Ketchum? As Ash comes back with a forearm here, but Ryoma comes back with a jawbreaker counter. Nice floating neck breaker sends down Ash once again. And Ryoma, in my opinion, has had the control of this match for quite a while here in the early stages. Want to make sure all of you guys are following us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash anime C wrestling as Ryoma missed the elbow drop from the top. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash TheAnimeCW, youtube.com slash TheAnimeCW as well. And follow us with our YouTube Mega Events channel. As Ryoma actually continues his strikes here. And now Ryoma, close like Ash over the top rope. And I think Ryoma's gonna go flying. Look at the Prince of Tennis, fly, look at that! Take a look at the different angles of that maneuver. Flying over the top rope. Woo! There's a reason why he was the first ever Cruiserweight Champion. I'll tell you that right now. Match continues here, Ryoma. I think he could just cover Ash and he might have a chance to win it all here. I guess not. Oh my God, a discus elbow right towards Ash. Quick cover. Ash Ketchum could be eliminated right here. No. But just barely kicked out before three. Oh my goodness. And now Ryoma plotting something here. And there's a nice shining wizard taking down Ash. Ash needs to respond with something. Ash needs to do something very quickly here. If he's not able to do it right now, then we might be counting down the seconds that Ryoma advances to the quarterfinals. And there's a drop kick on the lower back. And Ryoma is starting to exhaust himself a little bit. I don't know how wise it is for him to go up top here once again, but he better make sure it counts. Up top here, wasting a little bit of time as Ash 
is slowly getting up here. Ryoma in position on top. No! No! Crossbody did not connect fully for Ryoma. And now Ash Ketchum will take advantage of the misstep. Ryoma goes down with a couple of elbows. And Ash is not done. Gonna put some close handed fists towards Ryoma as the crowd here in Dallas are coming back alive for Ash Ketchum. A person that most of these fans here tonight probably grew up with in their childhood. They want to see Ash Ketchum make a comeback from Animania 4. Can he continue where he is right now as Ash Ketchum driving Ryoma's head in the ring? This crowd is on fire in the middle of the ring. Ash Ketchum with the right to the eyes. Kick to the midsection. And, Re and Ash using the ropes to scrape Ryoma's face. Ash clearly has not forgotten his anime four kids days, I'll tell you that. But the crowd is so different from say two seasons ago where Ash Ketchum would have been booed out of the building when he was with four kid, anime four kids with Gary Oak and Brock. Now he's his own man again. And Ryoma stopped that belly to belly attempt with a leg sweep. But Ash counters with a jawbreaker. Ash Ketchum needs to continue. Another eye rake, and Ash is getting a little bit too lenient with it. I don't know if I approve of that so much, but Ash Ketchum. Look at this. Russian leg sweep and nips himself back up. Ash Ketchum has come back from the dead. Ryoma slowly getting up here. Is Ash moments away from winning this all? No! Ash Ketchum yanks down Ryoma, drives his arm down on the mat. Ryoma's right back up. Ash Ketchum, he's gonna nail it here! Welcome to Pallet Town! The cover! One, two, Ash Ketchum is going to the quarterfinals. Oh my goodness, what a back and forth encounter between Ash and Ryoma. The final few moments of the match, Ash Ketchum nailing his all too known and well known Welcome to Power Town signature. And it has now made him move past round one and he will meet his arch rival Joe Agachi once again in the quarterfinals of the Elite Tournament. A great victory for Ash Ketchum. Can he go all the way? Well, that is the end of round one of the Elite Tournament. When we see you next time, the quarterfinals will begin on January 23rd. As we take a look at the card, Wave will go one-on-one -on -one against Edward Elric in the first match of the quarterfinals. Can Edward Elric defeat another Night Raid member? Or will Night Raid stop him here for good? Tatsumi will face Soma Yukihira, the battle of two of the future stars of this company in the quarterfinals who will advance to the semis. God Strike will go one on one and against Sagat. Two gaming icons will do battle. Will the God appoint the advance or will the Final Fantasy icon do it? And then it's an Animania 4 rematch. Joe Agachi, Television Champion, will meet once again Ash Ketchum in the final quarterfinals of this tournament. You cannot miss the ACW League Tournament quarterfinals. It will begin January 23rd. Until then, folks, stay cool. Stay cool.